Norway's $1 trillion U.S. wealth fund, the biggest of its kind in the world, is about to begin dumping shares in oil and gas companies. The fund is looking to sell about $7.5 billion U.S. worth of shares in 134 energy companies over time, including 26 Canadian names. The list includes large Canadian producers such as Canadian Natural Resources Limited and Encanacorp, but not large producers that also own refineries such as Suncor Energy and Husky Energy. The move was hailed by environmental activists as a sign that the global economy is increasingly moving away from fossil fuels towards cleaner energy. But Norway says the motivation is financial and not climate activism. This is where we bring in uh, Danielle Smith from Global News Radio 770 CHQR. I know you're going to be talking about more about this on your show today, Danielle. I don't know much about this fund, but I feel like it was a few years ago that they were talking about doing this, and now that it's happening, I could be wrong. It's a little ironic, actually, since Norway raised the fund in the first place by developing its own oil wealth. They, it's a, a trillion-dollar sovereign fund. Whenever we talk about it, we normally talk about it in the, in the terms of, why didn't Alberta have the same foresight? So it is notable that a fund that was created out of energy revenues is now divesting in these companies. And it's part of a broader movement. I mean, on, on the surface, you might think, what's the big deal of them getting rid of companies that they only own less than a, 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 a 1% stake in? But this sends a signal to other investors. In fact, there was a, a, a summit that took place in New York in September, the One Planet Summit, which launched this task force uh, on financial disclosures of climate risk. There are a number of investment firms, including most of the major banks in Canada, that have signed on to this. And we've seen a, a massive decline in the capital value of all of our privately traded energy companies. So I'm going to talk with Dave Yeager today to put this all into context. The initial movement against, um, o o uh, against fossil fuels was targeted against the Alberta oil sands. They're broadening it out now and targeting it against essentially any company that exists in the free, in the free market world for, for oil and gas development. And the real problem that you have here is, is twofold. Uh, one is that if we do not end up uh, funding our free enterprise companies, it just is going to put more power in the hands of those that don't rely on the market. Saudi Arabia and Nigeria and Algeria and Nigeria and so on and so forth. They'll end up taking a greater market share just because we're not seeing a decline in the demand for fossil fuels. The other interesting aspect here is that Norway is holding on to some of their vertically integrated companies like Suncor uh, because they, they believe, this is their argument, that they are the large companies are the ones that are most likely to be investing in renewables. So this is going to, to hamstring our already struggling industry when it comes to raising capital. And we're going to, to see if we can sort through what it might mean in the long term. Yeah, when you're the biggest uh, well fund of the kind in the world, people are going to pay attention to whatever moves you make. Uh, it should be a good conversation on your show starting at 9.30 today. Thanks, Danielle. Thank you.